Immigrants are people who move from one land to another, and in this movie, you will learn about that experience. One example of newcomers becoming citizens and neighbors is the Jewish experience, which in North Carolina begins in the 1700s. Jews, like most immigrants, have become a part of their hometowns and the culture of their communities, while still practicing the religious customs and ethnic traditions that make them different. You will hear these words during the movie. Yarmulke, head covering worn in Jewish prayers. Talis, Jewish prayer shawl. Kiddush cup, used for wine during Jewish ceremonies. Shabbos candles, lit to mark the beginning of the Jewish Sabbath or some holidays. What kind of kiddish cups do you want to use? Uh, use the glass ones. She got that old picture of Papa Mort restored. That was a surprise for you. Do you like it? It's wonderful. Well, that's the key factor. I think Federer plays with that one. That's the newest kind. Yeah. And there's the T-I-S-I. What are you fellas doing there? Shopping, Grandpa. Have you ever been on eBay? <laughs> Start wrapping things up. We'll be lighting the Shabbat candle soon. Just a sec, Mom. I'm about to buy a used tennis racket from a guy in Nashville. Yeah, your great-grandfather would have loved to sell things on eBay. Well, in his day, he had to walk around with a peddler's cart, chock full of stuff, from farm to farm, rain or shine, in the heat of summer, the Chill of winter. Are you kidding me? My great-grandfather did that? I have to hear more about this guy. My mom told me about my great-grandfather. He came here from England with just a suitcase, then got a job in a factory somewhere near Charlotte. You see this fellow? Mm -hmm. That's your great-grandfather, Menachem Mordechai. That's what his family called him. But in the store, people knew him as Mr. Mort. He was born in Eastern Europe, uh, in a town outside of Odessa, w w which was in Russia in those days. In 1904, he got a letter from his cousin in America. Von America. Liebe Schwesterkinder, Shalom Aleichem Ich Allah. Dearest cousin, a greeting to you all, a hearty regard from America, the Golden Land. I hope that you're all healthy. Life in America has been good to us, and I want that you should share some of our blessings. I know it's been many months since I last wrote. So much has happened in two short years. Remember I told you how I came here? I took a long train from Riga to London, England, then to a port in Southampton. From there we spent many days on a ship and finally arrived in Baltimore, a big port city in a state called Maryland, like Riga Gebernia. There I met a very nice man named Jacob Epstein, who had a magnificent warehouse called the Baltimore Bargain House. So many things there you wouldn't believe. I looked through his catalog and found many things a good peddler should have. He gave me everything I needed and I signed a paper I would pay him back in six months. This wonderful man told me exactly where to go and how I should get there. So I took a train to a village called Kinston in a state called North Carolina. Mr. Epstein knew there were many farmers there who needed things and there were no stores or other peddlers nearby. I rented a room with a nice family. They were very interested in our Jewish customs. They had never met a Jew or any other stranger before. 
and they watched me when I put on my yarmulke and talis and said our prayers and lit our Shabbos candles. It was hard for them to understand why I don't celebrate their same holidays, but as they grew to know me and our religion and culture, I could see them beginning to respect our ways. And just like our lives center around our synagogue back in the old country, here they spend their Shabbos on Sundays in churches. You would be surprised how much the countryside here looks like our hometown in Russia. Life is very calm and quiet here, not like the hectic life in the big cities. Every morning I would set off with my cart and I sold what I could. Finally, I was able to save enough money to buy a small store. I still don't speak English very well, but my customers point to what they need. Some people even come from nearby towns to see me. It became known that I was a Jew who spoke Hebrew, our holy language, and a young couple even came to me to give their baby a blessing. So, dear cousin, I need help here in the store, and I think it's time for you and Ruchale to come to America. Maybe we can find you a bride here who will help you, and God willing, you could have more children. Pack your suitcases and bring things that will remind you of your home and your faith so that Ruchala and your future children and their children will not forget their heritage. I hope you will accept my offer and that I will see you soon. So your great-grandfather and his daughter, your great-aunt Rachel, decided to come to North Carolina with a, only with a handful of money and a, a sense of adventure. Why did they want to leave everything that was important to them? Their language, their family, and their country. Why does any people leave their homeland? I guess it's because, uh, like, like your families from England and, and India and, and many other places, he wanted the chance to better educate his children and to earn a decent living. Also, uh, things were very difficult for Jewish people at that time in, in that place. Uh, husbands and, and sons were forced into the army and, and wives and mothers uh, didn't know where they were being taken to or how long they were going to be there. And they weren't free to practice their religion. And, and there were pogroms where Russians would, would harm and, and kill Jewish people just because of their religion. <laughs> In fact, your Aunt Rachel once said to me that when they came to, by train to, to Kinston, there were a crowd of people with torches, and they, she thought they were going to, going to attack her. <laughs> they were just waiting for their friends and relatives to, to come. I, I guess Papa Moore imagined or at least hoped that his children and his grandchildren would, like you and me and, and your Aunt Rachel, would lead a better life here in North Carolina than they would if they'd stayed in Eastern Europe. I thought most immigrants from Europe went to big cities like New York or Boston. Why had Great Grandpa Mort come to North Carolina of all places? Like many immigrants, he went to where there was family and a chance to make a living. Didn't your family, Carter, come here because your father got a job at the university? Yes, we moved here eight years ago. Then, my aunt and uncle moved here from India. My parents helped pay for them to go to school here, and now they both have nice jobs and a nice house near us. Your great-grandfather's cousin lived outside of Kinston, sort of sponsored him to come over here. He helped him buy tools and stuff for his cart. If he came here without any money, selling a bunch of junk off the back of a cart, how did we get to where we are now? Well, after working hard for several years, Papa Mort opened his own store. He married my mother, who lived in a nearby town, and she had me and your Aunt Flora and your Uncle Sid, and, and together with your great aunt Rachel, we, uh, 
We worked in the store. I was about your age when I first started working the cash register. Time to eat. It is ready. Everybody get a yarmulke. Come on. Uh, right. Turn eight five dollars. Quick, quick, move, 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 move. It's almost time. Okay. Henry, you can sit Yay, next to me. I'm pleased to meet you. Excuse me. Excuse me. This is going to be quite a lot of interesting. Uh, okay, it's sh okay. it's sundown, and we need to light candles. These candles are lit to mark the beginning of the Jewish Sabbath. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Kitshanu Mitzvotav V'Tzivanu Lahad Ner Shel Shabbat. Okay, so the Sabbath is a holy day, and we bless the wine to remind us of its holiness. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Borei Pri Hagafen. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam. This is the blessing we say just before we eat. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Hamotzi Lechem Menorets. Anyone for chicken soup? Who wants a matzo ball? I call the biggest matzo ball. Can I have a big matzo ball too? Wait, what is a matzo ball? <laughs> <laughs>